yeah welcome back so next is we learn the preparation of bleaching powder bleaching powder so bleaching powder bleaching powder is nothing but calcium calcium oxychloride calcium oxy chloride and that's it ca o c l2 ca o c l2 so this preparation we are going to study so calcium oxy chloride chloride sorry this is known as simply we call it as bleaching powder bleaching powder so this is how it is produced the raw material is this nacoh trice calcium hydroxide is used in the preparation of bleaching bleaching powder so bleaching powder bleaching powder is the thing but we call it as calcium hypo sorry oxychloride calcium oxychloride calcium oxychloride is nothing but caocl2 caocl2 in the production of calcium oxychloride or bleaching powder we use raw material that is calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide is the main raw material which is used over here so this is so here what happens is here here for this liquid this liquid so for this compound we pass chlorine gas chlorine gas is passed over here see chlorine gas is passed see this i told you, this will be not so simple as we tell the machinery for this machinery will be there on that machinery they will do it It is not a very simple. Has, has we write it on the board? Uh, we, uh, we write just a chemical reaction. But in the manufacturing, uh, manufacturing industries, uh, there will be lot of setup of uh, uh, machineries for this process to happen. So it is not so easy. Has we write it? So calcium hydroxide is made to pass chlorine gas. Chlorine gas is passed on this. So how it passed? So, so here what happens? Some heat is also given over in this process. So what happens during that uh, process? The calcium uh, reacts with oxygen. The calcium uh, this compound reacts with this, uh, this chlorine and it forms uh, calcium oxychloride. Calcium oxychloride uh, is formed. CaOCl2. In this process. Water is also formed. Water is also formed. That water is evaporated. So, so this is the reaction. Is there in the textbook? Go through this reaction. So I will tell you how it will be done. How this process is done if you take. So this is a one chamber. Here is inside is like place like structure will be there where calcium hydroxide will be there. Calcium hydroxide will be there. Hey, there is calcium hydroxide powder. Right, it is. So here, what is there? Chlorine gas is passed through this. Chlorine gas is passed like this. The body is heated. When chlorine gas passes above like this, what happens? During this process, CaOH trice reacts with the Cl2 to form. CaOCl2 plus H2O. So the chlorine gas is passed like this. Passed. So during this process, what happens? This calcium hydroxide reacts with chlorine to form calcium oxychloride. And so in another outlet, water is evaporated. The water is formed during this reaction. It is evaporated. Means it will be. It will be removed in the vapor form. Vapor form, and you get 
when the water is removed here water is removed we get we get a calcium oxychloride in a dry form dry form is it to the other not that what is the color if you take bleaching powder is lightly yellowish white and that you know so bleaching powder color now not the guy slightly yellowish color it to the yellowish white and that the other color it to the it is it dissolves in water if you take the properties so not a now which important now cleansing agent I use my three cleansing agent to kill the microbes then use my tip so in the uh, we, we use this uh, which important in the cleansing you have the cleansing agent see when we sprinkle the this uh, which important on a water the surface in, in which water is available if you shrink uh, after some time the, you feel the chlorine gas smell of the chlorine gas chlorine gas smell of the chlorine gas means uh, when it reacts with the uh, water it liberates chlorine gas chlorine gas will be liberated that smell <coughs> we can we can identify easily uh, it's a bleaching powder bleaching powder that bleaching powder unique smell is because of the chlorine gas which is uh, used in the preparation used in the <coughs> preparation i hope you are getting my point and if you take the users if you take users commonly the bleaching powder used has a used in Used for the purification process. Purification of water also it is used. So chlorine gas is produced in this. Chlorine gas is now produced by the water. Chlorine gas also produced. Then we are using use this as a bleaching agent. Bleaching agent are used but now bleaching agents are used but the bleaching agent in the sense in the industries like in the industries like uh, textile industry textile industry le bleaching agent are used but the now idna to to remove the color coloring content of the pulp. And then now suppose uh, textile industry le now butte marti butte na butte na nool marti valva. The threads of the threads of the cloths uh, are made by made by wood wood pulp wood pulp ने उसे मारते जाओ तो ये अकेशिया लाव वोटन अकेशिया टाइप ऑफ प्लांट आर यूज्ड इन दिस टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री टू मेक द थ्रेड्स सो टू रिमूव द कलरिंग कंटेंट प्रेजेंट इन द वुड पल्प वुड पल्प अंदर है ना हम आ मरा देनो पेस्ट ना तमारता रह मरा ना कट चॉप मारे so it is grinded into a paste to make the threads. <coughs> During that process, we use uh, this uh, has a bleaching agent to remove the coloring content of the pulp. A pulp will color the glycate bleaching agent I use Martha now. So it's used in the purification of water. Chlorine production you use Martha now. Like this, these are the users of the bleaching powder, bleaching powder. I hope you are getting my points. If you have any doubt regarding this, you can raise your hands now. Any doubt? See, chlorine production. Then the chlorine product production part is. So very important to do. <coughs> One example I told you like we use normally as a cleansing agent. Bleaching powder neural hack is good and I'm going to CL2 liberate act. Other smell got that to them. So it is used in that process. <coughs> Even in the paper industry is also used. Paper is also produced from the wood. Bamboo in the produce matter and put it there. So during that process also we use as a bleaching agent. Bleaching agent tagi now bleaching powder na use marte now. So this is how the bleaching powder is produced 
and these are the uses of the bleaching powder. If you have any doubt, you can ask now. Otherwise, we will move to the next concept that is preparation of sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate. <coughs> the, the process of preparation of sodium bicarbonate and process of preparation of sodium <coughs> carbonate. This is uh, this uh, sodium uh, sodium bicarbonate is produced from soda solvent process. Soda solvent solvent process under the you know, preparation of what sodium bicarbonate sodium. Bicarbonate NaH CO3. NaOH NaH CO3. And one more. During this procedure, during soda solvage process, <coughs> we prepare Na2CO3 also, that is sodium carbonate. So both are given in the textbook. Both uses are also uh, is given in the textbook. Both are very important. Remember. So at this point, if you have any doubt regarding the chloralkali process and the production of a bleaching powder, please ask the question. Ah. Yeah, so if you have any doubt, you can ask now, otherwise, I will ask you some questions on the what is thought today? G1? Ah, sir. So, can you tell me what is the chloral clay process? A process in which bleaching powder is prepared. Yeah, yeah the chloral clay process. Uh, I am asking you chloral clay process here. Yeah. You are telling me bleaching part. Yeah, Neeraj. Uh, tell me what is chloral clay process here. Niraj. Sir. Uh, I am asking you some question here. What is chloral clay process? What about Neeraj? Neeraj? Sir. I am talking to you only, my dear. What is chloralkali process? Pawan, can you tell me what is chloral clay process? What do you mean by chloral clay process?
सौम्या कड़े वॉट इज क्लोरल क्लियर प्रोसेस In a brine solution, when chlorine is passed, uh, when ele electricity is passed, uh, 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 and this really residual gas will be liberated. Two gas will also be liberated. Okay, thank you. ऑलरेडी go through all the processes uh, what is taught today so uh, so this is today i told you about soda solids process soda solids process is nothing but uh, it is a production of uh, nhco3 that is sodium bicarbonate by using again the brine solution again the brine solution is used over here what do you mean by brine solution sri harsha अमोनिया गैस एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइडर इज यूज so the reaction is like this nacl plus h2o plus nh3 plus carbon dioxide so all these raw materials are used during the process so this is the reaction which happens it produces nhco3 plus nh4 cl nh4 cl ammonium chloride is produced and apart from um, ammonium chloride we we get nhco3 that is called as sodium bicarbonate in this process again i told you this is also not a simple process as we write here so here see this is a complex reaction which happens uh, which happens step by step so there is separate reaction to produce uh, NH3, ammonia. NH3 produces more like a separate reaction with that. If you take, sorry, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Again, separate reaction starts there. See, I will tell you how it happens to be. See, in this process, we use see carbon calcium carbonate for the use of our daily process cell. So in that, I mean, what they are doing, they are taking calcium oxide. Calcium oxide, see that carbon dioxide, see that one. So here decomposition. First decomposition is done of calcium carbonate. When calcium carbonate decomposes, calcium oxide is formed and carbon dioxide is produced over here. That carbon dioxide is used in the preparation of this now. Like this, the uh, number of reactions are involved in this. This calcium oxide. See, calcium oxide. Uh, if it uh, if it reacts with H two O, it forms a uh, calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide also is uh, used here in the process of preparation of uh, NH three. NH three production only now we have calcium hydroxide is used. Calcium hydroxide is used. I told you this is uh, very. a complex process so kindly concentrate on this reaction see here on this reaction you have to concentrate ns here it's nothing but brine solution <clears throat> on the brine solution so ammonium gas and carbon dioxide is made to pass over 
pass her in this, providing heat, pressure, and all. So it is not a simple reaction has been right built. It is a complex reaction where machineries are used over here. So all this, uh, this carbon dioxide, NH3, uh, NH3 <coughs> separately it is, uh, it is treated. NaCl is treated with all these chemicals so that you get NH, NaHCO3 plus NH4Cl. So if you have any doubt regarding this, you can ask now. So we will move to the, so we will uh, see the next part of the reaction. So, so I told you very complex reaction it is, just remember this and how the, how the sodium carbonate is produced from this. It is the carbon, carbonate is produced. How the carbonate is produced from this we will see in the next class. So if you have any doubt regarding that, you can ask now. Otherwise, we'll stop today. I hope you have understood the concept. If you have not understood or if you have any doubt, you can call me call me and ask the doubt. If you are not asking anything, we will uh, end the session today. So please go through the PDF what I have given in that, uh, in that it is given, the reactions are given, go through that. So tomorrow we will finish up the two, uh, two, three preparations are there. Preparation of plaster of Paris, preparation of uh, sodium carbonate that we are going to le learn and uh, this chapter completes. We will see the exercise uh, questions uh, later on. Yeah, if you have any doubt, please uh, raise your hands, otherwise we will uh, end the session. Okay, thank you very much. We'll see you in the next class. Thank you.